Today on Trisha. Who are you yes. Yes. Hey, Who you you piece of trash? I don't want no, him. No, you're trash. You don't think about no, it, no, 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 It's my turn to talk. Brenda says Maurice behaves like someone who's cheating. He disappears. Sometimes for several days. What? He's got endless stories and excuses. The reason why I step out, mm. because I know you and your son just now are getting back together. You keep your phone on vibrate. I don't like to keep my phone going off because it's loud and everything. But it all seems to add up to one thing. I've heard some bull in my time. <laughs> Crystal's ready to walk down the aisle with Wayne. The tattoo on Wayne's chest says Chantel. And if Wayne doesn't get that removed, there's no marriage, none whatsoever. But she thinks he's been sleeping with his ex. Do you have any feelings for your ex, Chantel? She won't say I do until he proves he didn't. Have you had any sexual contact with your ex-girlfriend, Chantel? I got something to reveal. She's cheated in the past, but claims those days are over. He goes through my phone. Since you admitted on cheating, you blame well, just, me? Just... I found a condom wrapper, and I want to know if this little girl is actually mine. The lie detector will tell. Is Robert the father of your four-month-old daughter? Have you ever had any sexual contact with any other women? Are you trying to break Wayne and Crystal up? Today on Trisha. suspects her boyfriend of 13 years, Maurice, is a cheater. Ooh. Yeah, Brenda claims Maurice stays out all night, he texts strange women, and he gets calls late at night from someone named Cutie Pie. <laughs> now, Brenda's 19-year-old son, Chris, with whom she recently reunited, says he is here today to expose Maurice's secret life. In fact, Chris says he has proof that Maurice sleeps with other women. So first, let's take a look at Brenda's story. Well, I'm here today because um, I basically have been with Maurice for 15 years, and I believe he's cheating on me. I had a really bad childhood. I was raped when I was younger. I was in the fifth grade, so I grew up not having a trust for men. Ever since we've been together, he never leaves his phone on ring. He always leaves it on vibrate. He left his phone alone in the bedroom once, and it started to ring. And I looked over at the phone, and it had a, another picture of a girl, and it said cutie pie underneath it. If he is cheating on me, I've already told him he's out the door. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. I don't, I don't want that around my son. I would love to see if it to be not true and to be able to work it out and have a relationship with him. So, Brenda, how long has this been going on? Since we've been together, I mean, I've, it's always been a he said, she thinks, said thing. I can't ever catch him in the act, so I can't, you know, kick him out because it's always his word against my word. I this can... has been going on for, what, 13, 14 years? Mm -hmm. And only now you're doing something about it? Why now? I've been reunited with my son, and he's 19, mm -hmm. and I don't want him to think that's an okay way to treat women. Yeah. Let's see how I can get it. So let's go through some of the clues, some of the suspicious things. He leaves his phone on vibrate. He always leaves it on vibrate. He won't ever leave it in a room alone. And the one time he did leave it in a room alone, then it had a picture of a girl and said, cutie pie, and she, I didn't answer the phone, I just let it ring and confronted him afterwards. And, and what did he say about cutie pie? He said, oh, I don't, I don't know her. I just didn't know her name. I just put cutie pie on there. He disappears. Yes, he says he'll go out with his friends and yeah. he doesn't come home. For how long? For several, I mean, sometimes for several days. What? Where does he say? He's, he's with friends. So, hang on, if, if he's with friends, how come he can't answer the phone when it's you? I have no idea. And then when he does call, he, when he does call, it seems like he's in a bathroom or something, because you can hear it, that when he's talking, you can hear it echoing in the background. So, so what, you think he sneaked off? Yeah. And he's making a call, because he thinks, oh, hell, I better yeah. sort of explain where I mm -hmm. am. Any other clues that you've got? Well, I've been Facebooked once by a girl, and she asked me who I was, if I was his girlfriend or if I was his wife, and I responded back to her and said, you know, that I was his girlfriend and yeah. that we were living together. And she messaged back to me saying that he was staying with her on weekends 
and it, he, she was his girlfriend. When you asked him about that, what was the excuse for that one? He, he claimed again, he, you know, I don't know her, I don't, you know, she's just a friend, or, you know, she, he makes up an excuse for it. Do you still have a sex life? Can I ask that? Are you still intimate? <laughs> Not really, because I'm just scared he's gonna bring something home to me if he is messing around. Does he know that's why you're not intimate with him? No. You've never told him that? No. Maurice, I understand he, he's the first man who's ever treated you well. Right. And he does treat me good. I mean, he does things for me. He, you know, helps me. I've had surgery on my knees and he helps take care of me. Yeah. And he treats me great. He's never disrespected me other, you know, the, other than the, I think he's cheating on me. And what if he is cheating on you? He can get his stuff and go. I don't want him anymore. <laughs> We mentioned that one of the reasons that you want to get this resolved is because you have your son, Chris, back in your life. Yes. How is that? Explain to us. Well, about when Chris. he was little, I placed him for adoption, and he found me again through Facebook, and yeah. we got in touch, and then he decided once he turned 18, he moved back in with me. Did that change the way you see the world, having your son actually physically in your household? Yes. Because yeah. I don't want. He, he talks to girls, and I don't want him to think the way that me with each other is the way that you treat girls. I don't want him to think it's all right. No, she, no. I can understand that. Now, does Chris think Maurice is cheating on you? Yes. This must be driving you mad. Yes. I can't trust him. I don't, you know, I have no trust for him whatsoever. Okay. Well, I think it's time we heard what Maurice has to say about these allegations. <laughs> Maurice, come on out. Uh, I'm going to say this right here. Hi. What do you want to say? One thing about it, I'm going to tell you right now, Brenda. I'm not cheating. I have friends. I do like to mingle and everything. Mingle. Okay? I'm a people's person. Okay? Hi, Maurice. Have a seat. Have a seat. Um, okay. Let, let's, let's, let's let Maurice answer some of these things. You keep your phone on vibrate. Yes, why, I do. Why is that? Because one thing about it, I do have a ringtone, and I don't like to keep my phone going off because it's loud and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I like to keep it vibrating. I leave mine on all the time. Anytime yeah, anybody but calls, that, but he hears that, who I talk I, to. I, want, I yeah. don't want my phone to go off. Especially okay? not when it's, uh, what was it, cutie pie? Or? Yeah, and the thing about it with that cutie pie, I can, I can say about that right there. I'm going to say about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the thing about it, when I meet these people down there and I let them know what I do for a living and stuff, yeah, they even ask me if, they, if I can get them a job up for where I work at and stuff. So, yeah, I get their number and all that, and then I forgot to ask their name, yeah, so I just put, like, cutie pie or whatever stuff. And when she called and stuff, so, I mean, what? So, hang you know on, when saying? you go out with these friends for two or three yeah, days, why I... don't you go together? Because the thing about it, if I invite her, I feel like she may not be comfortable around them, or I don't know what to think. That's or, he doesn't bother she... to ask. He never bothers yes. to ask. No, 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 no. male Hold friends up. or and female it... friends? They're both. The reason why I also step out, mm -hmm. because I know you and your son just now getting back together, which y'all haven't seen each other for years. So I want to let y'all have the bonding time. That has nothing to but do that, with but it. That, but still, that's another thing I want to bring out right there. You were stepping out way before Chris ever and, came back into my life. But still, and, I like, and like I said, I like to step out. I like to get out and mingle. Maurice! But you... Maurice, Maybe the reason yeah. may, may I just... I've heard some bull in my time. <laughs> Go oh, ahead, yeah, come on, let's bring it out, bring it, come on, bring it. Right. Uh, did you know one of the reasons that Brenda hasn't been intimate with you is because what? You're you're scared you catch something? Yes, I'm afraid that if he is sleeping around, he's gonna bring something home to me. I don't want to catch anything. And that's another thing right there. And I got and I have myself checked. I'm gonna say it like this is. Oh, you think you think you think I'm gonna bring you some? Are you are you? Did you serious? say you, you have yourself checked? He's yes, had his self checked, but yeah. hey, AIDS, it takes up to ten years to show up. Wait, 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 I, I, have, I have myself checked because when I went, because I'm diabetic, when I went to my doctor, I told my doctor I want to get fully checked. That means with regularly, everything. Regularly. Everything. Everything. That includes you, HIV, HIV. And I even got the proof. ST, you, so for sexual. And, and for everything. So every time you see your doctor, you make I sure told he I checks want, yeah, you. I want to get well, checked. if you've only been with one woman for 13 years, why you keep getting checked? That's not the plan. But I ain't bringing nothing, I don't have nothing, and it'll never happen. And if you feel that you, and like you said, yeah. you know, you feel that you don't want to be intimate with Maurice, Tim Acosta, enough, you know what, Tim Acosta, our lie detective uh, expert yeah. is in the audience, I think mm -hmm. he... Yeah.
was I was going to tell Tim now might be a good time to take a vacation, but um, <laughs> what do you feel about Brenda wanting you to have a lie detector test? Well, you know what? To me, I'm just going to say it like it is. Let's just get it over with. I'm not going to sit here and just be like, Oh, no, I don't want to take it. No, let's get it over with. This is the and person not... who yesterday, after he took his lie detector test, the first thing he says to me is he wants to, if that if comes up that I'm lying, can we go to counseling? If. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I said that. And you know the thing about it? I said if I, if I pass, and I'm going to say it if like it is. Pass. If I pass. If you pass. I pass. And if, if I fail, and if, if I, fail, I fail, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to say it like this. If Just you like fail. Told if. If I pass, I if. pass. If I fail, she got to do what she got to do. I gotta do what I gotta do. No, just you, like you she don't said. pass for going home. You're getting your yeah. getting out of the house. Yeah, that's make it happen here. Yeah. Yeah, make it happen. Yeah. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not gonna sit here and trip and be like begging on my knees and be like, no. Nah. Well, when we come back, Brenda's son Chris tells Maurice why he wants him out of the picture, and we will also reveal Maurice's lie detector results. Up next. You're gonna show me pics on your phone of naked girls and show me everything. Uh, Come, on what? Come on now. You're gonna see. All, no, you think no, about no, it, no, 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 it's my turn to talk. Then. Have you had any sexual contact with your ex girlfriend, Chantel? I got something to reveal. And later. He goes through my phone. Since you admitted on cheating, you, you well, just, blame me? Just because we I just you don't can't put the pad. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't want to be a sucker. Today on Trisha. Oh, well, we're back with Brenda, who is here today to find out if her boyfriend of 13 years, Maurice, has been faithful to her. Now, in just a bit, we will reveal Maurice's lie detector results. But first, let's bring out Brenda's 19-year-old son, Chris, who says he knows Maurice is a liar and cheater, and he's ready to expose him. Chris, come on out. Don't make no sense. Chris. You gonna sit there. You're going to sit there. We went to the bus station the first time, and you're going to show me pics on your phone of naked girls and show me everything. Come on, now. What? Come on, now. You gonna see. all, no you think about no, it. No, 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 It's my turn to talk. It's my turn to talk. Have a seat. Chris. It's my turn. Don't start. Hang on, hang on. Let me hear from Chris. He he showed you pictures of naked girls. Yes, on his phone. I'm a little confused. When do you go to the library together? Mm-hmm. Where does the bus stop come into this? No, like we take it, we go to the bus stop and take it to the bus terminal. We've been to the library, I don't know, maybe once out of every time we go. We've been down there four times. And what does uh, what does Maurice do there? We go sit down for a second, and then the other, the first time we went, there was this girl that came over there. He started talking to. He said he knew her. Then he goes outside and tells me to watch the stuff. I don't know what he's saying. Oh, he went he out with the girl. Yeah, he went outside with the girl. You remember? And when, and when this and uh, when this supposed to be? Every time. <laughs> They go down there a lot. They go down there a lot. Yeah, we. I told him to take him down there to show him down to. So I, t so I tell you to go watch. I tell you to go watch my stuff. Yeah. Well, I go out. You go outside with the girl. You go outside with the girl and sit there and talk to him. So Tim Acosta, our lie detector expert, is with us Let's in the get, audience. Let's make it happen. Because I'm, I'm ready to go there. Okay. The case. I do not know what the results of the lie detector are. All I have are the questions here that were asked you, and Tim will tell us whether the lie detector discovered you were being truthful or not. OK. So we asked you, Maurice, are you using Brenda because she supports you? Do you... Well, he works, but I, I pay... He doesn't help... He helps every once in a while pay the bills. I pay the rent, I pay the electricity, I pay all the bills. Oh! oh. <laughs> Maurice said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? Trisha, the lie detector determined that Maurice was being truthful. There you go. Okay. Nah, nah, I don't want no pl I don't want no plow. No, nah, I don't want no plow. We asked you, do you love Brenda? You said yes. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. There you go. No, don't applaud. I don't want no plow. I don't want no plow. Did you show Brenda's son, Chris, naked picture? 
of women on your cell phone? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined, again, he was being truthful. Oh! We asked you, have you ever had any sexual contact with any other women while you were with Brenda? You said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined that Maurice was not telling the truth. cheating with other women when you tell Brenda that you and Chris are going to the library? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that he was not telling the truth. Oh. Well, we we ask you, you, when you say you are hanging out with your brother, are you really hanging out with other women? You said no. Tim? Trisha, again, the lie detector determined he was not telling the truth. Well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm out in the streets then. Yeah. So you can love somebody and just lie straight to their face like that. Mom, well, no, you allow him to down. because you allowed him to. You knew. I'm sorry. Just a minute. I'm sorry, Brenda. I think you knew. You pushed it under the carpet. When somebody sits here and says, "If I pass the lie detector test," they say, "When, not if." So, he said if he passed the lie detector test. So, are we talking one woman and it, things went too far? A couple women, things went too far? This cutie pie, no. silly pie? No, I never ne didn't care, you know. Not didn't that, that one. one. No, which which woman know. was but it? You it, it, it? But, but, but you're going to sit know. there. See, he still can't even be treated. Yeah. This is an opportunity to put your cards on the table, you know? Yeah. You, you, but, you but, yeah. Hang on. Just a minute. Hey, we'll have Yeah. I got a point there. Yeah, and Kevin's got a point too. But this don't make no sense. Find out. I want to give him the opportunity, Chris. I'll come to you in All a second. Right. I want to give you the opportunity to be honest. Because if you're going to salvage any pride, any self pride, then you need to be honest. You keep lying, you're going to look like a fool. Well, total JA, too. Yeah. Yeah, you well, I mean, I'm, so, I'm putting so, myself down, talking, too. Yeah, so you might as well be honest. What girl's going to want him now? Yeah. So, <laughs> nah, nah. Talk, we're talking about one woman or two women, maybe just one girl. You know, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that when you just had one woman. Yeah. The one when she had it, when she got that one on Facebook asking if I was her girlfriend. Oh, was that the one? Yeah. Do you want to be with her? Oh, yes, I do want to be with you her. You want to be with her, yeah? Yes, I do. Yeah. Chris, what do you think? But, let nah, me, let me yeah. ask. Well, like they say, uh, once a cheater, always a cheater. I mean, I, he's... I can't be mad. You know what? Both of you were getting your needs met. I know it's easy to cast you in the light of a victim, but you knew all of these things, and you kept pushing them under the carpet. You knew that. He was looking after you. He was satisfying you to a certain degree, maybe not the whole nine yards, but he was. You were getting your needs met with someone who supported you, who helped you through tough times and what have you. It came to a point, I'm guessing, where you almost became like, I don't know, brother and sister and bickering and what have you and you've gone through a tough patch, okay? Or tough patches. The thing is, are you willing to completely get rid of, of him? Yes, because I'm willing to because if he can't be trusted. Well, you knew, you said you haven't been able to trust him the whole time. Right, right? but I mean, I, now, now I, Chris I have the proof. I know, I'm, I, I've never been able to catch him. Sweetheart, you have the I know proof when I... before. <laughs> but you know what? I think that the, uh, I think because Chris has, is back in your life, and that is such an important relationship. There is so much ground to be made up. I think, and you said it before. This is why you've been ready to confront all of these suspicions that have been bubbling away. So, do you really want him out yes. of your life? Because I'm not, I'm not stupid. I know I'm not ugly, and I can get any man I want. So. I agree, with you. I can't argue about that. I can't argue about it. And, uh, Maurice, I think you knew what with all the if, 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 I think you knew that you were going to be found out today. So what plans have you made to move well, on? Got to do what I got to do then, you know. And what is that? Go to uh, who? Right. To one of his girls' Hit the house. road. Hit, Hit the, the road. road. Like, they like what they say. <laughs> Go yeah. Use that phone and call yeah. Cutie Pie. She'll yeah. let you move in. <laughs> Coming up, have you had any sexual contact with your ex-girlfriend, Chantel? I got something to reveal. 
and later. He goes through my phone. Since you admitted on cheating, you, you well, just, me? Just because you don't can't put the pad. You are the pad. Get off my stage. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't want to be a sucker. Today on Trisha. to meet Crystal. Now, Crystal says she's found the love of her life. This man, Wayne. And she's ready to walk down the aisle with him. <laughs> yeah, but there is a problem. Crystal suspects Wayne is a cheater. And to make matters worse, she fears he's been sleeping with his ex, Chantel, the mother of his two children. OK, Crystal is here today because she won't say I do until Wayne can prove that he didn't. Take a look at their story. I'm here today to find out if my soon-to-be fiance Wayne is cheating on me, and I'm also here to find out if he still has feelings for his baby mother, Chantel. I love Wayne to death. We're best friends. That's the only man I have in my life right now besides my son. Love this woman too much to lose her. I do everything that I can for her. I do everything for the kids. I, I love her deeply. I have called him on several occasions, texting and talking to different women. And between him and Chantel, she's ignorant, she's childish, and she has gotten me to the point where I really want to just bring her freaking neck sometime. The tattoo on Wayne's chest says Chantel. And if Wayne doesn't get that removed, there's no marriage, none whatsoever. I want to tell Chantel to stay out of my life if it ain't got nothing to do with my kids. Leave me and my family alone. I have a new life that I'm living, and it's going to be without you. If Wayne doesn't pass this lie detector test, he's going to lose his relationship. He's going to lose his son. Why would you lie to me? Why treat me bad? What am I supposed to do if it don't pass? And if it do pass and, and she still accuses me of this stuff, what am I supposed to do? <gasps> I really love this girl. I really do. <laughs> I don't want her to leave me. So do you think she wants him back? She wants him back, and she's jealous at the fact that he has a good woman. Whoa. <laughs> so tell me, tell me about your relationship with Wayne. Is it good at the moment? My relationship with Wayne is awesome. Yeah. Me and Wayne love each other to death. Yeah. And we get along very well. We have a strong commitment besides this <laughs> with his ignorant baby mom. I can't <laughs> seem to... To, to express my feelings to him the right way when I always have her interrupting and interfering with my relationship and my love with him, period. Have you met her? No, I have not met her. I met her one time through my sister. Her and my sister used to hang out or whatever, but from the day she found out I was dating her baby dad, her whatever she claimed him to be, yeah. she gave me problems from jump start. She, she says she don't like me for whatever what reason. I can only think of um, jealousy. Because I never disrespected this woman. I never had too much to say to her about anything. Whatever her and Wayne got going on, that's her and Wayne. Wayne is my man now. And it's time for her to Ooh. step back. Yeah. I'm the sheriff. Yeah. Uh, are you scared that Wayne is leading her on? Is that your point? I, I think, honestly, he is. For her, well, you do? Yes. Because the things she say to him through text messages is ridiculous. So I look at him like, what is she talking about? You what know? about his phone? His phone. Um, Have you ever checked his phone? I clicked on a picture just to see, oh, how did he get this picture of I click on the picture. It's a different with her butt hanging out and all types of different men. She's inviting everybody to get a piece of her, and I'm asking him, who is she? Why are you doing this? Oh, what he did he say? Oh, that's nothing. She's just an old friend from school. He tell me that about all the girls. I'll they're all friends talk. from school. Old friends are nothing. If they're not my friends, you can't, you yeah. can't have any friends. No yeah. women friends. What are you going to do? If, if the lie detector proves that he has been unfaithful, what are you going to do? I'm going to leave him. And when we leave this city, he's not leaving back home with me. OK. I can understand that. What if the lie detector test comes back and says he has been faithful? Then we're going to move on with our life. Hopefully, hopefully Chantel can get some sense into her head and respect the fact that she's not the woman in his life no more. I am. I'm okay. the sheriff. I'm running this relationship. Okay. All right, so here's the 
here's what we do next. I want to bring out Wayne and hear how he feels about these accusations. So, everyone, please welcome Wayne. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. How you doing? Hi. Hi. OK, so... <laughs> What's going on between you and Chantal, your ex? Um, the only thing going on between us is our kids when it comes to me. The only time I contact her is when I want to see my kids. That's the only That's time? That's the only time. And what about these girls on Facebook? Friends. <laughs> they just friends from school. Um, do you have any feelings for your ex, Chantal? No. I think she still that's, wants him. I, I mean, because that's she, what it if seems she didn't like. want him, why cause me the problems? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. 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 I get that. Yeah. You can... uh, well, when we come back, Crystal finally confronts Chantel, the alleged other woman in Wayne's life. So, will Chantel deny or confirm Crystal's suspicions? And we'll also reveal the lie detector test results. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Up next, have you had any sexual contact with your ex-girlfriend, Chantel? I got something to reveal. And later. He goes through my phone. Since you admitted on cheating, you, you blame just, me? Just because we I just you don't can't put be the pass. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't want to be a sucker. Today on Trisha. Crystal, who's about to find out if the man she intends to marry, Wayne, has been cheating on her with his ex-girlfriend and mother of his two children, Chantal. Well, she's here today, and I guess she has something to say to uh, Crystal, so let's get that conversation started. Chantal, come on out. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Chantal. Hi. Chantel, this is Crystal. Crystal, Chantel. So you still want Wayne back? Nope. Nope. Then how come you don't act like it? Girl, I do not want that boy. He calls me. He calls me, asks me for money and everything. You're saying on Facebook that Wayne says that he wants to get with you? He's telling the other dude that. What about the text messages? Okay, I text him and his daughter be wanting to talk to him. He'd be like, Sean, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. That's her excuse. This is her excuse. I do not want Wayne. And this is her Wayne. excuse. I'm telling you, this girl is psychotic. She didn't text me numerous of times. No, crazy you text stuff. me when I'm yep, at work. because you're disrespectful. You're ignorant. Because my daughter don't you're like stupid. you. No, you don't like me. You told your daughter not to like me. You're childish and you need to be a woman about this situation bye, and bye, grow bye, up bye. because this is my man. You I don't want him, girl. You I don't want him. Oh, this is mine. Oh, this is mine. Yes, yes. Hey, you piece of trash. I don't want no, him. No, you're trash. Has he been intimate with you? Have you been no. intimate together? Last time he and Wayne had sex was September 10th, 2010. That was the last time. I left him on October 15th. As you know, both Wayne and Chantel agreed to take a lie detector test, and the results are in. Thank you. So, let's find out what's going to happen. Um... <laughs> Costa, our lie detector expert, is in the audience. Now, I don't know what the results are. I'm just reading out the questions. Tim will tell us what the lie detector told us. So, Wayne, first we come to you. We asked you, do you love your fiancé, Crystal? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined that he was telling the truth. There you go. There you go. So that lie detector's working, yeah? It's working. <laughs> we, huh? I volunteered to come here. Yeah, it's working. We asked you, do you want to marry Crystal, Tim? The lie detector determined, again, he was telling the truth. There you go. <laughs> we asked you, do you love your ex-girlfriend, Chantel, or still have feelings for her? You said no, Tim? The lie detector determined that he was telling the truth. There you go. <laughs> Have you had any sexual contact with your ex-girlfriend, Chantel, since you started dating Crystal? And you said no. Tim, the lie detector? The lie detector determined he was telling the truth. What did I tell you? 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 We... I don't know about nothing. 
Oh. Hang on, one more. We ask you, have you had any sexual contact with any other women since you and Crystal have been together? Again, you said no. Tim? The lie detector determined, Wayne, thank you. You told the truth again. <laughs> Chantel's lie detector results. We are Chantel. Do you still have feelings for Wayne? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. There you go. <laughs> Last question. We asked you, Chantel, are you trying to break Wayne and Crystal up? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined she was telling the truth. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got something to say. Yeah, yeah, what do you want to say? I got something to reveal. You Ooh. said uh, you wouldn't going to do it unless I passed, so I want you to know. Can you marry me? <laughs> OK. Can you let bygones be bygones? Can you two, can you shake hands? I don't have nothing against her. Can That's you shake you hands? That's what understand. I never had nothing against this woman. Yeah. Can you shake hands? I'm not okay. trying to be their mother. Okay, well, good luck, Wayne. You're going to need it. Okay. Coming up. He goes through my phone. Since you admitted on cheating, you, you well, blame just, me? Just because we I just you don't can't put be the pad. And later. Is Robert the father of your four month old daughter? Promotional consideration provided by. You are the fire. You're the first thing. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't want to be a sucker. Today on Trisha. <laughs> OK, please welcome Robert. Now, Robert has been with his fiancée, Miranda, for nearly five years, and he's ready to take the next step. But Robert suspects Miranda is up to her old tricks. Yep, you see, Miranda admits she's cheated in the past, but she claims she's changed her ways. Robert, however, suspects once a cheater, always a cheater. Yep. And to make matters worse, Robert's unsure if he's the father of Miranda's four-month-old daughter, Josie. Let's take a look at his story. I think my fiancé is cheating on me because when we first got together, I took a trip, and when I got back from this trip, I found a condom wrapper underneath the bed and box spring against the wall. In past instances, my fiance wasn't always faithful. Now we have a four month old little girl and I want to know if this little girl is actually mine. I was cleaning out the closet. Well, I found a, a bag stashed really far in the back of the closet, opened it up. It's all my fiance's old and nasty and old underwear. I run to her underwear drawer, open her underwear drawer up and there's a bunch of all brand new underwear in there. She didn't buy them for me. I was on vacation. So who did she buy them for? The way I feel about Miranda right now, is I can't trust her. If the lie detector test comes out that my fiance is lying, I'm not done with my daughter, I'm just done with her and her lies and her tricks and her deception. I think I'm gonna have to bow out. Um, so you and Miranda have been together for four, four years? Four years, Four yeah. years. And you, you say she has admitted she's cheated on you in the past? Yeah. But you forgave her, did you? Yeah. But you said you found what? A condom? Well, it's just, just the condom wrapper. The wrapper? The you, wrapper. You used condoms with her? We did, but at the time we were living in our apartment, we haven't had used them. It was like, like, you know, like if you're in the heat of the moment and you're on the bed there and you open it up and you just like tuck it away between the bed and the wall and then you finish your business and you can't be more than happier and you forget about it. You clean, you clean up everything. You clean oh, up. Oh, you think that's what no, happened with her? Yeah, you clean up everything oh. else. And that's, that's a little thing that you might miss. You might miss. What about but the if underwear? But you, if you're good the at what you're doing, you check everything. The relationship's been pretty rocky. Until she got pregnant, and then the pregnancy and the baby being born, everything's okay. But you have doubts about the baby, is that right? Yeah, but the baby looks like me. 
Yeah. But that doesn't mean anything from watching Maury for all these years. That doesn't mean that that doesn't mean anything at all. So if the lie detector test comes back and says that she's been telling the truth, Miranda hasn't been cheating, then what happens? Everything should be good. It's time we heard Miranda's side of the story, so please welcome Miranda. <laughs> Come and have a seat. So, what's it like with all this suspicion, huh? It hurts to be accused every day. Yeah. And to be treated this way, the way he treats me. How does he treat you? He, he goes through my phone. He'll look at my underwear when I take them off, when I get in the shower. Well, do you, bl do you, do you blame me for doing that since you admitted on cheating? Do you, do you well, blame just, me? Just because we I just you don't want to be the a path. sucker. Well, you can't put, put the, the you have to put the past in the past. But I don't want to be a sucker. But I've been faithful. Especially a nice sucker taking care of someone else's kid. But it's really your kid. Well. well, we don't know that right now. Well, it, it is. So the condom wrapper, you don't know how it got there? That was one of ours oh, that we of, used. Well, when we were moving, we must have dropped it. <laughs> OK. So let's come to the lie detector test. We have our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta, with us. So what I'm going to do is read out the questions and Tim's going to tell us what the lie detector said. Okay, the question we asked you, Miranda, we asked you, do you love Robert? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined. Up next, have you been intimate with any man other than Robert within the last six months? Is Robert the father of your four-month-old daughter, Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't want to be a sucker. Today on Trisha. I think my fiance is cheating on me. In past instances, my fiance wasn't always faithful. Now we have a four month old little girl and I want to know if this little girl is actually mine. The way I feel about Miranda right now is I can't trust her. If the lie detector test comes out that my fiance is lying, I'm not done with my daughter. I'm just done with her and her lies and her tricks. So what I'm going to do is read out the questions and Tim's going to tell us what the lie detector said. OK, the question we asked you, Miranda, we asked you, do you love Robert? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. There you go. <laughs> we asked you, is Robert the father of your four-month-old daughter, Josie? And you said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. All right. But not least, we asked you, have you been intimate with any man other than Robert within the last six months? That's what you wanted to know, right? Yeah. Yeah. And again, you said no. Tim? Trisha, the lie detector determined she was being truthful. <laughs> well, I, well that's, that's great. And there's no more sleepless nights, and we'll be able to get on with our well, life. Maybe and... you can show your respect to me a little bit better. Well, yeah. yeah. You will. You're, 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 it took us to come here for me to earn your um, trust back. Robert, Robert. Yeah. When, when um, I asked you if there's anything you wanted to say to Miranda, I was thinking something like, you know, an apology. Or... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for accusing you. But, I mean, could you blame me for the stuff Aww, that happened in the past? On. I'm sorry, honey. I love you. I love you, too. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I don't want to be a sucker. Today on Trisha. OK, I'm going to go and lie down in a quiet corner for a few minutes. Thank you for joining me today. Come back real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>